Alright guys, I was excited uh, to set this tank up. I'm really excited to do this video. Uh, this is my uh, Madagascar tank. Um, all these fish in here are from Madagascar. Um, obviously not wild caught um, due to the conservation effort that's taken place. A lot of these uh, fish are extremely endangered, so uh, it's pretty cool for me to be able to have some of these. Um, you know, hopefully uh, get some breeding going on with them. Um, you see the live plants in here. You can see that they have been chewed on a little bit. Um, I've had these for a week now, um, so they're doing okay. I think it's it's normal, I guess, for these guys to, to chomp at them a little bit. It seemed like the first couple days were the, the worst days, and they've kind of been leaving them alone since. So, um, But I'm really excited to obviously have a planted tank, too, um, even if it's kind of a minimal planted. Um, but anyway, uh, I've got the... Uh, you guys have seen him before, my big uh, uh, pull and eye or, or bleaker eye, whichever one you prefer. Um, he's in here. Uh, as you've seen in my one video, he was sick, came back, and he's doing really well now. Um, I've also got the uh, pinstripe uh, dambos or the uh, paratropolis uh, menorambos. Got the eight of those still in here. Those are all from uh, Dave's Rare Fish. Got those back in May. They've grown substantially. Um, I also have a few other bleaker eye in here too that I got from my local fish store. Got a little one over here, uh, a little one over here, and I believe there's one behind the rocks. Yeah, let me come over here and I'll show you get a side view of this thing too. There's that little one here. Um, that's down, looking down the tank. Um, I also have the uh, Paratropolis uh, Norisati or uh, Lamina, whichever you prefer. Um, I've got three of those in here. I did have four. The one died the uh, day after I got them from the local fish store. He died. I've had two of the ones for a while. You can kind of see they're a little bigger. The one in the back is the most recent addition. He's a little bit smaller. Um, and here's the other one over here. Very small. Um, if anybody's asking, you know, why doesn't he eat them? Um, you know, it's a it's a gamble I did take. Um, I kind of know the fish. I've had this guy for probably two plus years now. Um, you know, he's actually a pretty passive uh, eater, uh, passive fish in general. Um, so they swim right by him, and I, they do have plenty of cover. Um, the rocks, you can, can't really see it, but there's a whole bunch of tunnels and whatnot in there that they can, they actually do hide in there. Kind of like uh, what a uh, Mbuna would do. Um, and then this guy over here kind of hangs out over here at the, the oak tree. But this is it guys, um, I've talked about it before about putting this tank together, I finally did it. Um, really excited about the results of it. Like I said, the, the plants have been in here for a week, the tank's been set up for probably about two to three weeks now. Um, so I've had it going for a little while. Uh, the I don't I never really did show, I've had these bleaker eye for a little bit. Um, when I got them they were much smaller, doing really well in here. But. Um, like I said, the Minerambo is doing awesome, looking really good. Um, unfortunately, I can't really show you guys how they act in normal. I, obviously, this is me coming up to the tank and they're going crazy, thinking they're getting fed. Um, it's kind of just like a herd mentality. The All the Minerambos and even the uh, uh, Norasadi come in there and kind of just like pick through it. They're just like, uh, like a grazers. You kind of see them flashing on the bottom there, but uh, they pick at the bottom quite a bit. Um, and then the, the bleaker eyes, they just kind of just sit there. Um, you see the big guy there, right in the middle. And typically at night, he'll go behind those rocks, but um, I know I'm moving around, sorry. Um, really excited about this tank, though, guys. Uh, appreciate you watching. Um, if you're interested in any of these fish, uh, the Minerambos are available. Um, Dave's Rare Fish is where I got them. I, I believe they're still there. Um, the bleaker eye, uh, you can get that from uh, James Largo. Cichlid uh, Shack. Uh, the North Side are a lot harder to find. Um, like I said, I got mine at my local fish store. But, um, yeah, I'm sure if you look online, you could probably find them somewhere. But uh, a, lot of, a lot of endangered fish here, and uh, I'm, I'm pleased to have this tank set up. Sorry this video ran a little bit longer than I normally do, but a little bit more to show than what I normally do. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember, they're just stupid fish videos, and uh, take care. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Later.